Good morning. Let's come together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Mass today, let us acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you've shown us the way to God our Father. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You are the good shepherd who leads us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. And Mass is offered for John and Dana Lou Donahoe. O God, who filled the priest and martyr, St. Maximilian Kolbe, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and with zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The Lord cried loud to me to hear, Come, you scourges of the city. With that, I saw six men coming from the direction of the upper gate, which faces the north, each with a destroying weapon in his hand. In their midst was a man dressed in linen with a rider's case at his waist. They entered and stood beside the bronze altar. Then he called to the man dressed in linen with the rider's case at his waist, saying to him, Pass through the city, through Jerusalem, and mark a towel on the foreheads of those who moan and groan over the abominations that are practiced within it. To the others, I heard the Lord say, Pass through the city after him and strike. Do not look with pity nor show any mercy. Old men, youths and maidens, women and children, wipe them out, but do not touch any marked with a towel. Begin in my sanctuary. So they began with the men, the elders who were in front of the temple. Defile the temple, he said to them, and fill the courts with the slain. Then go out and strike the city. Then the glory of the Lord left the threshold of the temple and rested upon the cherubim. These lifted their wings, and I saw them rise from the earth, the wheels rising among them. They stood at the entrance of the eastern gate of the Lord's house, and the glory of the Lord of Israel was up above them. Then the cherubim lifted their wings, and the wheels went along with them, while up above them was the glory of the God of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. The glory of the Lord is higher than the skies. Praise, you servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord both now and forever. The glory, the glory of the, the Lord, Lord is higher than, than the skies. skies. From the rising to the setting of the sun is the name of the Lord to be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens is his glory. The glory, the glory of, the of the Lord, Lord is, is higher, higher than the skies. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high, and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? The glory of the Lord is, is higher, higher than, than the skies. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault 
between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have won your brother over. If he does not listen, take one or two others with you so that every fact may be established on the testimony of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell the church. If he refuses to listen even to the church, then treat him as you would a Gentile or a tax collector. Amen, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen, amen, I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything for which they are to pray, it shall be granted them by my heavenly Father. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. The Gospel of the Lord. When uh, Maximilian Kolbe, the saint we honor today, was canonized by Pope John Paul II, uh, he used the gospel that says, uh, um, no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. Maximilian Kolbe laid down his life. He was a uh, Franciscan priest, arrested uh, by the Nazis, uh, taken to Auschwitz, and when uh, someone escaped, the Nazis wanted to punish the, the, the people and teach a lesson uh, and, and, and they sent a man to prison or to torture and, and death and starvation man who had a family and Maximilian Colby stepped forward and said no 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 I, I, will, I will die in his place and, and he did after several weeks of torture finally died by lethal injection Laid down his life for his friends. I, I think part of the whole message of the gospel today is, is the importance of community and the importance of our concern for one another. Oh, Jesus uh, presents a, a way of reconciliation. He, and, and he even calls in the church. Two or three are gathered. It says that we have a responsibility, really, to one another. And when do we give up? I, 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 he says there, treat them as you would a Gentile or tax collector if none of it works. But do you remember how Jesus treated Gentiles and tax collectors? He welcomed them into his fold. I think uh, that's what we also strive to do, is to be people who uh, never give up on anyone and, and, and always continue to pray for each other and to pray together. Part of the message, really, the importance of the church. Matthew's gospel was written. I, I think they were beginning to realize that. There were two or three gather, and that's exactly what we do whenever we gather together as church family and celebrate Mass, the liturgy. Let's uh, pray that we never, never underestimate the importance of our gathering together, the importance of our prayer for each other, and just as God never gives up on any of us, pray that by the power of our gathering together, we also learn that God's grace extends to everyone. Let's stand to pray. Preparing our hearts, we bring these prayers. For all who endure broken and damaged relationships, that they find new courage to seek ways to mend them, we pray to the Lord. That missionaries may be filled with grace and wisdom in their preaching and teaching of Christ's word, we pray to the Lord. That all who do not practice their faith might feel the prompting of the Spirit to turn back to God, we pray to the Lord. For families that are divided over politics and ideologies, finding ways of forgiving and loving one another, we pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and suffering, that they might be strengthened by the grace of the Holy Spirit, first granted to them in baptism, we pray to the Lord. For all the prayers, we pause now to mention in silence. We 
we pray to the Lord. Loving God, you lift up those who are lowly and rescue those who have fallen down. May we, in praying for ourselves and all the world, learn to care for all as your most beloved children. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread. We offer you what your earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. It is through your goodness that we've received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine, work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me of my sins. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. We present our oblations to you, O Lord, humbly praying that we may learn from the example of St. Maximilian to offer our very lives to you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly it is right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for by the blood of your blessed martyr, Maximilian, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, you show the marvelous power of your works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble you bestow strength to bear you witness. So now with all the powers of the angels and saints, we worship you, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with all the bishops, clergy, and all your people. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, 
St. Thomas More, St. Maximilian Colby, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Trusting in the love of God, we now can pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we might always be free from sin and safe from distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's share that peace with each other. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be.
greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of your Son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that St. Maximilian received from this holy banquet through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.